What's going on guys? Kevin Cage here with another cryptocurrency update. Let's dive into some Ripple and XRP information today. I know we covered this in last night's video. The Royal Monetary Authority, aka the Central Bank of Bhutan. Bhutan, I know I butchered that last night. Ripple partnered a pilot a central bank digital currency using private blockchain. And so they will be using Ripple's central bank digital currency private ledger. So notice the RMA will pilot retail, cross-border, and wholesale payment use cases for their digital currency in phases using Ripple's blockchain tech. Doing so will help accelerate its mission to increase financial inclusion in Bhutan to 85% by 2023. And of course, we already discussed the $8 trillion expected to be tokenized by 2027. Round and round we go. And notice the narrative with energy consumption still stays the same regarding the sustainability as the only carbon negative country in the world. The CBDC private ledger based on the public Public open source XRP ledger is carbon neutral and 120,000 times more efficient than proof of work consensus mechanisms or proof of work blockchains. What's more is the CBDC private ledger provides central banks like RMA the security, control, and flexibility needed to deploy a central bank digital currency strategy without compromising its financial stability and monetary policy objectives. And as David Short, CTO of Ripple, has said many times, even with the XRP ledger, these federated side chains and all kinds of cool features, privacy is of utmost importance. So these central banks will still have privacy features. And the cool thing is that Ripple is specifically building with a huge army of engineers a focus to allow them to have the best of both worlds in terms of permissionless, open source technology, as well as permissioned networks with privacy. And so from James Wallace, VP of Central Bank Engagement over at Ripple, and I love his interviews, in addition to providing the full life cycle of CBDC requirements, Ripple's solution offers central banks the superior functionality and interoperability needed to implement global cross-border CBDC payments. Next, this website is DeFiPulse.com. Highly recommend it if you've never been here. And we can see the TVL. TVL stands for Total Value Locked in the world of DeFi Decentralized Finance. And let's take a look at the chart and the overall growth that I often do mention. You can see back in 2017, what are we looking at? Is that approximately 5 billion? I believe it's measured in billion since we have the site over here. And since the crash, of course, back in 2020, we are less than 10 billion. And today we're still sitting up roughly 8x higher. And as we know, the all-time high price essentially approached $100 billion in total value locked before there's even utility at scale in the cryptocurrency space. What do you think happens when there's finally regulatory clarity within this market? The floodgates can finally open and utility can begin driving this market? Instead of speculative bubbles like we see from time to time, it's really interesting to imagine how far and how high this market can really go. Back in the day, you would sound crazy if you said the cryptocurrency market would surpass $10 trillion. And today we're roughly at $2 trillion right here, the total global market cap at $2 trillion. It doesn't seem so outlandish now. And I know when we were at 100 billion, it seemed a little silly and I get that. But now we're up essentially 20x from that price, which was just over a year ago. And as we know, the cryptocurrency market is growing at approximately twice the rate than the internet grew. There's more people on earth, more access to devices with IoT, higher throughput. I think we're really positioned really well, guys. But anyways, this is a wonderful website. If you're brand new, you can go through this and really look at the top assets. And you can also look at different options in the lending category or anything else in between. And just like Anders L says right here, do you think people were able to comprehend how big the internet was going to be 30 years ago? Absolutely not. And I think that we're still underestimating the cryptocurrency market. I saw XRP Crypto Wolf share this. The Bitcoin monthly returns percentage. Figured you guys would want to look at this if you want to take a screenshot. And you can see all the years dating back from 2013 all the way to 2021. Now, my biggest point is this. I love Bitcoin. I love what it's brought to this market. But there's diminishing returns in this asset. For it, the double and triple, yes, it's entirely possible. But my focus to make money is on a variety of altcoins that one already have better technology, massive funding, and exciting roadmaps ahead. So, so I'm taking a risk personally with a variety of altcoins because I believe they have bigger returns. And I think you guys would agree with that. And as I was referencing right here today, about $84 billion in total value locked in the world of DeFi of cryptocurrency. And yes, I fully expect that this value will eventually be in the trillions of dollars. Also, one of the highlight gala guys, I know a lot of XRP holders, myself included, hold gala and look at this. Another asset hits the full 4.236 Fibonacci extension. Dozens and dozens of assets have done this, and now waiting and doing nothing is literally the hardest part, especially when you're holding an asset that is all the way down here around the 236 or around here, waiting for XRP, XLM, and a variety of other assets to catch up. I know we saw signs of life like HBAR and ELGO up here, but now we're seeing additional confirmation and validation that many assets are still hitting, coming out from that cup, whether it's the March or February high, or even the May and April high to the bottom, holding this level of support and blasting to the full Fibonacci extension. 
To me, this is not a coincidence. This is the Gallup price chart on charts.cointrader.pro. I just threw a sloppy fib up here. Swing high, swing low. We can see we held support, came out of this cup and handle as we've been saying for months. So beautiful to see we actually took off right here. And as always, I'm just continuing to hold assets down here and simply waiting my turn. I do not want to sell something down here to buy up here and lose my position. Now, I love Gala. They are well deserving of this appreciation in price, and I'm excited to see how high they can go in the future along with a lot of other assets. Also, just wanted to emphasize, guys, Ripple is literally building new central bank digital currency partnerships, cross-border payments, retail, and wholesale. With the XRP ledger, interoperability is key with the world's central banks. XRP, it's been piloted by dozens of banks. We've talked ATB, Respank. I mean, you can go back to 2015 and actually see some banking pilots. And this has been happening for the past several years. And FYI, I know this is going to sound silly, but these pilots are not for fun. Do you think you can have a giant central bank or even a bank in the top 10 or top 50 piloting XRP that isn't actually considering this technology? We're going to continue to look crazy until we are right. And for anybody going through it right now, I know it's been a crazy, crazy year. Everything changes when you know exactly what you want, define what you want, and then make the decision to just never quit. Once you decide that you're never going to quit, losing is not an option. I see my buddy Jay Spark sharing this. Stack Sats. Twitter rolls out Bitcoin tipping features and safety features in their product push. Very interesting. As we know, Jack Dorsey, founder of Twitter, is a big Bitcoin advocate. Also, Barry Bullish, another one of my TA buddies, really comparing Adam and DAG. And I want you guys to apply this to a variety of other assets. So he said that I'll appreciate this. Absolutely. And let's just take a look at this. So looking at the chart, we have Adam, aka Cosmos. It's done exceptionally well. I honestly have not been holding it. I sold it like $3 and it just took off in 10x. So that was my bad. Although I did actually take the asset, whether it's three or five bucks, I don't remember. I did in fact put it in other assets that have gone up thanks to the bull run, but just a typical mistake by me. And we can see Adam on the left, Cosmos, and then we have Constellation DAG, DAG on the right. And now we're overlaying these Fibonacci and we can see that DAG may in fact be ahead of assets like Adam. Now I know DAG is a smaller market cap asset, but it's really interesting that this is in fact leading the way, at least for me, for HBAR, even Solana for that matter. So keep an eye on that. Not financial advice, but I think this is beyond interesting, especially when instead of doing a weekly, you do a top-down analysis to the daily and four hour and see how these little fractals or patterns actually do repeat. And then you realize, oh my gosh, is this actually just one giant algorithm? And that's often what I think. Here's another example of BNB Binance coin. Just notice using the swing high of the 236 to the low. And where did it go? Perfectly to the 4.236. Same thing with Gala, same thing with DAG, QNT, and a variety of assets. Solana. We'll see if Adam and also Luna do that in the future. And it's coming down in another cup and handle pattern. So are you guys bullish or bearish on BNB? Do you think that this was the top or do you think that we get one more big push? And biggest emphasis shared by XRP Crypto Wolf, like the public XRP ledger, moving money through Ripple CBDC solution is cost effective, reliable, and nearly instantaneous. The solution will enable the RMA, the Central Bank of Bhutan, to eventually access a network of central bank digital currency ledgers for full settlement interoperability. So now they have a few banks, one by one, trickle, trickle, flood, the value of network effects. And last but not least, big congrats to ads of Alchemy Exchange, one of the first assets that will actually be running on Constellations Network, the Hypergraph Transfer Protocol. It is DAG type of technology, just like HBAR. And I'm extremely excited for the future of Alchemy to make a decentralized advertising marketplace exchange. And of course, the ticker is clever, ads, ADS. And this is pronounced Alchemy. But all right, guys, that is enough out of me. The cryptocurrency market is back to $2 trillion after that recent crash. What do you guys think will be happening next? We can see a nice recovery. XRP's back at a dollar. I am sick of saying that. I hope you guys enjoyed. All links will be in the video description. And until next time.